Welcome back. I've decided to do a Q&A for everybody out there. I'll answer a couple of questions because I haven't done it in a while. So, it was powered up. And I'm just not going to start writing and typing all that information. Question number one that I had on the list, and I get it a lot. Where have I been? Well, the reason you haven't seen my face, it's pretty much on YouTube, is I've still been active, of course, making videos. It's just that when the fighters that I root for are getting ready to fight, I kind of like train with them. I run. I get up at 4 in the morning sometimes and just run. Just the enthusiasm of a big fight seemed to do that for me. So that's basically what I've been doing, just isolated, getting ready for the fight. And I go like in fight mode. It's something crazy. When I get ready for a fight, it's like nothing else matters. I take care of all business ahead of time, so I don't have to get disturbed with nothing. So, that's where I've been. Two, the second question I had is, why do I hate Manny Pacquiao so much? I get, I'm not hating on Manny Pacquiao. Just like I said before, I hate what he represents, and that's a lie. Okay, he's a media-created darling. Okay? So that's why I don't really like those guys. The media trying to make him out to be something so they can market and make money off of him. It has nothing to do with him. I'm destroying what they're creating. But nothing I've said about him has been like a farce or hasn't been stated pretty much by anybody else. I'm just stating by the facts and bringing the truth to light. You know I ain't better than Mayweather. <laughs> Alright, next question. <laughs> goes to, uh, let me see, because I don't want to like, misinterpret the question and somebody asks it again, like, I know that, I just wanted to know this. Uh, what do I think about trainers being allowed to be trained, I mean, fighters being able to be trained by their fathers? I don't have a problem with it. They're trying to get some guideline where they try to keep fathers out of the corners because uh, there's been a lot of problems with parents being involved and emotionally and going in the ring and stuff like that. But I haven't really seen too much of it. But I did see that memo. So, it's so no problem with it for me. I think the parents should be there. That's who the fighter trust the most is their parent who know them better. So, that's how that is. Well, we just did the video on this question. So, about who's going to win between Pacquiao predictions. Chris Ariola's future. Chris Ariola's future. Good question. Chris Ariola's future. I don't know. He was HBO's darling boy, but he can't seem to maintain the weight. They did a good job in bringing an entertaining fight. Chris got a lot of heart, but I do think he broke his hand, or at least broke a bone in his hand in that fight on somebody's head, on Adamic's head. But Thomas uh, Adamic is going to be a problem for people at that division now. He can be knocked out, but he can box. And he has the skill to, to offset a lot of these guys uh, who are at heavyweight. They're just slower and just can't keep up. That's why pretty much he moved up. Now, the Cliscos, he'll have a problem with. <laughs> but everybody else in the division, he's pretty much a competitor. But I would love to see him fight one of the Cliscos and see how that would turn out. Uh... See if we got any more questions on here. Uh, how do I know May Floyd Mayweather? I know Floyd Mayweather through Nate Jones. Nate Jones was on the same Olympic team from Nate from Chicago, from Chicago. Okay, that's the connection. Alright, so, because I've answered it before, that's why I went as fast as I did. I love your videos. You see me tell the truth. Blah, blah, blah. Hey. Uh, bro, Nazim Richardson. Nazim Richardson training Shane Mosley is not going to have that much of an effect. I think it changes the uh, the atmosphere. Is like what Shane's going to do in the ring. But when Shane gets in trouble, he never really got in trouble with Margarito. So we never saw him have to adjust. When he's with a fighter like Mayweather, and Mayweather's neutralizing what he's doing, he's going to eventually go back to what he knows. This goes all the way back to, to the video I made. 
but uh, the the effects of 10 ounce gloves and 8 ounce gloves more cushion that's it the people want the 8 ounce gloves because of what they feel but what people don't know about gloves is they don't just come in one size they have one that's longer for your hands because everybody's hands is different you might have so some people's hands are wider well, then no, the fingers are longer, and some people's fingers are fatter, so they have different size gloves, but they all weigh the same ounces. So you might see somebody's gloves look like a big gigantic pillow, like some of the Floyd gloves, but they all weigh out to the same ounces. So, on that note, we in and exit the video because I'm probably running out of time. <laughs> but I want to get some of your questions in, if not all of them. But I just checked and we got some more time. So I'm in my cousin's room. This used to be my room many years ago. Here in my grandma's pad. But uh let me do some more questions. Uh the term tomato can. Where did that come from? I don't know where the word tomato can came from. I really don't, but that's an interesting question. Thanks for bringing it up. But a tomato can, we all know that's just like a guy that goes in there and jab a glass Joe from Punch-Out. But back in the day, it used to be called a palooka. Like back in the 20s, the Joe Palooka. Because Joe Palooka was a comic strip. He was like this boxer who was just like Rocky Balboa. So for, he was going to the ring and just totally get blasted. He was a total nice guy, just was like a dunce. But he goes in the ring and totally get his teeth blasted. So, that's about it. About the palooka. But when it changed over to tomato can, I have no idea. <laughs> I have to go and research that one. But I did know they used to be called a palooka. Uh, let me see. Sugar. Do I really believe Sugar Ray Robinson <laughs> would lose to Floyd Mayweather Jr.? I, I judge fighters how I see them. Now, my favorite fighters are different from the best fighters in the world. Like, I know Floyd Mayweather is a better fighter than the people I have as my favorite fighters. Okay, but these are my favorite guys because I came in there with them. So I'm going to ride with them no matter what. I came in the game with Thomas Hearn, so he's always going to be number one. And I always judge the active boxers that I came in with. I didn't. I can't compare Sugar Ray Robinson because I really didn't see all his fights. I didn't see a lot of his fights. Pretty much, they just show you a couple. So I never really saw him. Or Ali, I never really saw him at his height. So it's hard to compare them to people that I've seen. So then I've followed Thomas Hearns, the Leonard's, to now. You know, all the way up to now. So those are the that's why I kind of like put my bar at and start ranging from there. But Thomas Hearns is one, Felix Trinidad is two. Okay, and these are like my favorite fighters of all time. Then I got like Mike Tyson, then Floyd Mayweather. But yeah, that's. Oh, okay. You had an additional question. What do I see uh, that's similar between the two, Floyd Mayweather and Sugar Ray Robinson? They both have a signature punch that they both throw. It's a right hand to the body. Sugary Robinson used to throw it first. Though a lot of people probably didn't know it, but it's called the candy cane. Because his name was Sugar Candy Cane, and he twirls the punch into the stomach. It's a straight right to the body that Floyd throws. So, you know, so it's, there's, that's what they have that's similar. And I'm out. I'm going to ask some more later. Peace.